Hi there, so market statistics for April are out. So uh, just as a reminder, we put these videos together here to, for information, whether you're looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate, if you own real estate, it's important to know what's going on in the market because real estate is a big factor for the economy overall. So let's jump into the numbers for, for April. These numbers are kind of lagging. So we're looking at numbers that happened in March during April. That's just how the, the statistics work, but it gives us an idea of what's going on in, in the market. Uh, let's start off with median sales price. So that the number for median price per, uh, price sold is 254,950. So that number is down just a little bit, about 1.9 percent from a previous month. Nothing to worry about. Prices go up and down. There's there's uh, usually at the beginning of the year, some homes sit on the market a little bit longer just because of the the market and it's a little bit slower. And as and as we see that, then people start reducing the price. Uh, or, or just people that were sitting in the market, homes were overpriced some, and now we're just seeing that adjustment happen. But it's nothing sc uh, crazy or scary. We're not crashing. That's a good number. New indicator is a good number for El Paso overall. And then the next number here is uh, act, uh, actual homes sold, homes that actually closed during the month of March. That was 641 homes sold. Is that number increased quite a bit from a previous month? So it's 9.2%. So it looks like a huge jump and it might be like, what's going on in this market? Why are home selling or so many homes started selling all of a sudden? And that's just because we're in a normal market. So if you look at in El Paso, usually January, February are slower months. And then that picks up, starts picking up in March as the weather changes. We go into spring break, uh, Easter, the market changes a little bit in our local market. So that number jumped up to 9.2%, but 641 new homes that sold. So it's just a trend is a normal market that goes up and down throughout the year. And that's what we're experiencing. Now, as far as inventory home, we did have more home sell, but inventory, what happened with inventory was down, active inventory listings that were there, it came down and that has a lot to do with the homes that sell and, the, and then the new homes that hit the market. So that number was down 5.9% and about 2,234 homes st standing inventory on, on today's market. So just with that, it's still a number that is lower than it needs to be. Close sales, that's a number lower than it needs to be. If I give you some perspective in, that number is lower than 2023 and 2024. For the first quarter, we sold, we sold the less homes in 2024 than the last two years, okay? A lot less, substantially less. And then if we look at that number from a year 2019 which we could consider to be more of a normal market that number is almost half of that year so the market is still still tight with inventory there's a lot of people out there that have if you maybe it's you where you had a house uh, you purchased a home in 2019 2021 2022 and you had an amazing rate or you refinanced and you had an amazing rate and now you that home doesn't work for you you're sitting there and you want to move but you're like man i have a three percent interest rate i want to go in i'm not going to go into a seven or even a higher rate. So that that's that's a normal feeling, but if that's how you are and you think, hey, I still wanna sell, I need to sell, give me a call, reach out to me, I'll be more than happy to explain to you exactly why that is a bad move where, and, and how to work out their strategies to, to get you still a really good rate, better rate than what's out in the market if you have a home to sell. So it's don't stay there, make the move whenever you need to. It, it could set you back if you wait just because of that interest rate. Uh, and then we'll move forward, move along for that topic, median uh, days on market, that number is at 27 days. So that number dropped. We had more sales happening, less inventory, and days on market obviously are gonna, it's gonna come down. We're at under 3.6% lower than the previous month. We've, we've been around 30 days, a little bit under 30 days for most of the year. I do predict this number to go down next month. Like for, April, for actual numbers in April, that number should pretty much usually go down as we get more uh, into the spring market, summer market, and uh, there's more buyers out there, more people looking, any hot listing is gonna sell pretty fast. And that's what we're seeing. If you have a hot listing out there, price right, shows well, it's gonna sell in a matter of days and not, not sit there for too long. In price per square foot, that number has actually stayed flat, which is funny, I don't think I've seen this number stay flat, is $154 uh, uh, per square foot that the average home sells in El Paso. It's funny that Median price went down, but price per square foot stayed uh, flat. So that tells me the market's pretty, it should be trending up either way. Prices should be trending up overall, especially in the coming months. Uh, last number here is new listings. New listings is up a little bit. Like I mentioned before, it's not enough. We don't have enough homes for sale, but new listings is up about 10%. That's 996 homes that hit the market. 
just to tell you that's still not enough for the demand that we're having and the demand that we're gonna get in the coming months. So it's time to sell. If you're hesitant, you're gonna be in a good place to sell. And for the most part, we're still looking at a seller's market, most areas of town. There is certain areas where it's, it would be an advantageous for a buyer as a buyer's market, uh, especially if we go, if we look at new homes, a new home, and if you're looking for a new home, you're still looking at a, a big seller, a buyer's market for a new home. So you could get a really good deal if you go out to purchase a new home. So these are the t statistics for the month of April. I hope this information is useful. If you know anybody that can use this, please share this video and let me know what you think our real estate market's gonna look like in the summer here in the comments.